All right, so what are we going to do here? Well, we have a division, and so what we have to work with is the numerator and the denominator. And we can do everything in the numerator first, and then do everything in the denominator, or we can work along together on both of them, and then at the final very end, we can do our division. So if we look in the numerator, we have a negative 6 minus 2 times negative 8. Well, we have a product here, so that negative times a negative is positive. And so now we can say we have a negative 6, and we have to do the multiplication first, so 2 times 8 is 16. Well, what about the denominator? It looks similar. We have a negative 20, and then we have a negative 3 times a negative 5. Well, that negative times a negative is positive, and so we have a negative 20 plus 15. Okay. Well, now we have 16 minus 6, well, that's 10, and 20 minus 5 is, or 20 minus 15, I should say, is 5, but it's a negative because our larger one was a negative, whereas the larger one here was positive. And so 10 divided by 5 is 2. The sign has to be negative because we have a positive divided by a negative. And so our answer then is a negative 2. All right, so now here we're back to similar problems, but ones with parentheses, ones with absolute values. Now with parentheses, there's nothing going on in here. So we have basically a negative, uh, we want the opposite of the opposite. And so we have basically a plus, because that's a negative one times a negative seven. So that's just seven. But here, we actually have to work inside of that first. So we keep our negative out front. And we work inside of here. So again, think about turning left. So we go up here and we turn left and go seven blocks. And because we went seven blocks, the answer here is seven. And so then we can put that seven in parentheses. Now, if we had turned right and uh, gone to the right, which is positive, and this is the negative, it still would have been seven. But because we went in a left negative, the absolute value is still positive. And so now we have the opposite of seven is negative seven. Okay, so we always have to keep reminding ourselves, you know. Uh, the absolute value of that negative becomes positive because, you know, it's still, we're going seven blocks, and so that distance is seven, okay? All right, so what about this one? Well, here we have that absolute value we have to work in again. So we have to work and simplify this first. Well, six minus nine, well, that's going to be nine minus six is three. The larger is negative. So that's really the absolute value of a negative three. And then we still have the negative four and a negative three here. And that absolute value doesn't look too straight, but it will be hopefully a little bit straighter now. So that's absolute value. So again, we're coming up here to that sign. We're gonna go turn left because that's the negative direction. And we're gonna go three blocks, but because we're going three blocks, that absolute value is gonna be positive three. So it's a negative three minus four times that positive three. Now we have a negative times a positive, and so that's going to be a negative. So we'll have a negative 3 minus 4 times 3, 12. Now we can rewrite this so we have both of them looking the same. We have a negative 3 plus a negative 12. Same sign, so we add 12 plus 3 is 15. Same sign, negative, and so our answer then is a negative 15. Okay. Now, this last one has a little bit more work to do here. We have to work inside of our parentheses here, and we have to work inside of our absolute value here. Then after that, we have to cube what's ever in here. Then here, we have to take the absolute value. After we do that, then we can cube. Okay, so we have a couple steps here. So 7 minus 9, well, that's going to give us 9 minus 7, which is 2. Larger one is negative, so we have a negative 4 times a negative 2 cubed. Now here we have 8 minus 14. Now again, if you need to, you can take 14 minus 8, and so that's going to give us 6. The larger one was negative, so that's going to be a negative 6, and that's still cubed. Now remember, going up here, we'll do that sign again, we're going to go left 6 blocks, but that distance is 6, and so we have this is going to be just a 6, but let's go ahead and as we go left to right, let's expand everything. So we have a minus 4 times. Now we have 3 negative 2s. Then we have negative 3. And then the absolute value of that we said was positive 6. 
and then that's cubed. Okay, so this is going to take a couple steps. So now let's simplify what we have here first. So we have a negative times a negative is positive. Negative times a negative again is positive. And then we have to expand that six, okay? So let's first multiply. And so four times two is eight. Eight times two, 16. 16 times two is 32, okay? So what we have then is 32 from that first part minus three times six times six times six, because we're cubing that six. So now we have a little bit more work to do because now we have to multiply. And it's gonna be a, a negative answer. So we'll have three times six is 18. So this is gonna give us 32 minus, and we have 18. Well, maybe we shouldn't put that 32 minus because we're gonna run out of room when we get all these done. So let's leave that off for now. And then we have 18 times six, well, guess what? We're gonna start multiplying over here, 18 times six. Well, six times eight is 48, carry a four. Six and then plus four is 10, so that's gonna give us 108. And we still have 108 times six. And so what do we have here? We have six times eight is 48, and when we carry the four, it's just 48, and then we have six, so that's gonna be 648. And so what we really have is 32 minus 648, okay? Well, the larger is negative and it's 648. We're gonna subtract off the smaller. So let's subtract off our 32. Eight minus two, six. Four minus three, one. Six minus nothing is six. And so the answer is gonna be negative six, one, six, okay? So no complicated math. I mean, we had to multiply and we had to show all our work to get there, but it wasn't hard. And we just had to follow order of operations to get all that down into just negative 616. I mean, we did a lot of work along the way, but the final answer is really not that complicated as long as we followed that order of operations. <clears throat> all right, what about here? Well, here we have seven squared plus three squared over 10 minus eight times one. Well, let's work in the numerator first. Well, this just says we're gonna take seven times seven plus three times three, because we're just squaring the three, and we're squaring the seven. What does it say down here? Well, we're gonna take 10 minus the quantity eight times one, so 10 minus eight, because eight times one is just eight. Now what do we have? Well, now we have to multiply. Well, seven times seven, well, that's 49, plus three times three, that's nine. 10 minus eight, well, that's gonna give us two, okay? Well, now we have to add. Now, if we need to, we can go over here and say, okay, well, let's add this up. Eight, nine, that's 17, carry one, that's five. And so now what we have to do is say, okay, well, Now we have to go and say, I wrote a wrong, wrong number. That was 49 and I wrote 48 for some reason. So we always have to pay attention. I just noticed that. I said 49, wrote 48. So nine, now that's 18. So now we have 58 divided by two is what our question states. Well, now we have to take 58 and divide it by two. Well, two goes into five twice, that's four, subtract. 5 minus 4 is 1. Bring down our 8. 2 times what's 18? Well, 2 times 9 is 18. Subtract that, we get 0. So we get 29 as our solution, as long as we write down 49 when we take 7 times 7. All right. What about the next one? Well, it's going to be very similar, except now instead of the multiplication here, we're moving the multiplication up front and then subtracting. So it's, it's very similar. And also instead of adding here, we're subtracting here. So all we have to do is follow the orders and then we'll get our final answer. So we have six squared. Well, that's six times six. Then we have minus eight times eight, because again, we're just gonna square it. We're gonna multiply it out like that. Now six times three, well, we know that's 18. So we can say 18 minus 11. 
All right, well, what is 6 times 6? That's 36. Minus 8 times 8, well, that's 64. 18 minus 11, well, that's 7. So now we have to take 64 minus 36 because we're going to take the larger minus the smaller, and our answer is going to be negative. So it <clears throat> looks like we have to borrow here, so that's going to be a 5. So 6 from out of 14, that's going to give us 8. 5 minus 3 is 2, so that's going to give us 28. Now we have to take 28 divided by 7. Well, 7 times 4 is 28. And so we get the negative 4 for our answer because we have the negative divided, divided by positive, and that gives us the negative. <clears throat> okay. Again, both of these following order of operations, we can get down to our final answer, which really looks nice. All right, we'll pause there and come back in a second.